Um, here is the median cost of fraud to an organization um, by the three types. Now these are fancy names for the things you already know. Asset misappropriation, you have it, I want it, I take it from you. Corruption, you have it, I want it, so I enlist you and together we rip off uh, the company. And fraudulent statement, uh, which many people don't know is actually the English translation of the ancient Latin verb enron. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you see the translate, if you see the trend here on asset misappropriation, this is petty theft. This, in in relative terms, this is petty theft or close to it. Um, again, median cost of fraud. Um, so this is just you take it um, in one way or another. Um, and we actually saw, uh, we have seen a leveling off of asset misappropriation, uh, which is, together with these two, much more relevant to the nonprofit sector. This is virtually, non, uh, not, virtually not relevant because of the nature of um, uh, the nature of, of uh, the role of financial statements and investments and so forth. So we see a leveling off in asset misappropriation and actually a decline in corruption in, median, uh, in terms of median cost because, again, these folks do this about every six years or so. And um, it was right around in here. Um, <coughs> kind of got its start here, and the, and the focus on internal controls really was heated up <coughs> by 2006, and many systems were already, uh, had already gone into place, either directly because of Sarbanes-Oxley, which I'll come to, come back to in a moment, or indirectly. Um, and um, you can see also that the actual the significant decline of um, uh, and the, fraud, the, the nature and the instance of fraudulent statements in the for-profit world, again, between 06, uh, starting around 06. Now, how 